Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Artbook Addiction here, and we're here with a new character design analysis. So today, we're gonna be looking at Ronnie the Witch, right? So, I've been playing a lot of Elden Ring recently, and, you know, uh, as a result, we, 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 we learned uh, the, the true queen, okay, the true woman of the game, right, which is Ronnie, okay, and nobody else, the true ending, Age of Stars, best one, okay? Um, and, you know, I really, really enjoyed her design and just um, seeing how many people have, you know, basically created fan art and, like, you know, just love the character. Um, I really wanted to do a design analysis because, you know, I, I love her too, right? You know? Um, so that's what we'll be doing today. But before we start the video, please hit that like, hit that subscribe, check out my Prince and Patreon if you want to support the channel. And with that, let's get into it. All right, so as always, I'll be looking at my little tablet, right, just to assist me with uh, looking at her design as, uh, as we go through. So let me just take a quick look. All right, so obviously the first thing you're going to look at when you see Ronnie is her big old giant mushroom white hat, dude, okay? And I love that shit, okay? I've always loved, you know, mushroom-shaped shit, you know what I mean? Um, there's a real appeal to her hat, just being super big, right? Um, you know, with most Dark Souls characters, you always see the 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 more you know mage characters. They always have like the really really long, big hats, right? And you know, in this game, it that design philosophy is repeated, right? But Ronnie's is special because it has the the big like droop, like blah, 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 you know, right? And it's not quite like a regular fabric you know there is um there is a organic quality to it right it's kind of like a little you know like i said it kind of looks like the in the game there's this uh the melting mushroom um it looks a lot like that right um and it's just wow i i love her hat okay i just you know it's just fun you know i love witch's hat i love how big they can get and uh honey ron uh, honey ronnie's hat is huge okay and that just it just generates appeal so looking closely at the underside of ronnie's hat you could see that there is kind of like this like mycelium root system that works I, at first i thought it was like like more like tree roots or maybe like her hair right kind of like being um organically placed into the hat but on closer inspection i noticed that it's more of that mycelium pattern Right? And you see in mushrooms a lot when they when they when, you know when they go out and create the root system, right? Um, or the mycelium network rather. And this, like I said, only enforces more of that mushroom feel, okay, that organic feel. You know what I mean? Um, and it helps bring in that little bit of blue to the rest of the, the design, right? Which is, you know, part of the color composition of her character. So looking at the rest of her outfit, right, you could you could see that she has this um, really big long cloak, okay, that is also has like a uh, organic quality to it, right. So um, it's almost like a like a big wolf's pelt, right, very a la like Game of Thrones, right. Um, I'm assuming this is because you know she is. Um, you know, if you if you pay attention to the lore, she's trying to emulate the uh, the snow witch, right? And if you're you know part of the snow, you're gonna be cold, right? So the cloak is to help keep her warm, basically, in, in her uh, doll form. Even though most likely she doesn't feel any cold at all, right? So another thing I wanted to point out about uh, Ronnie's cloak, right, is that uh, her cloak is actually tied with another character, right, Light, right? If you look at his cloak, you could see that, you know, it's a very similar organic thing, right? Organic type of shape, right? And, um, or material rather. And you can see that like, of course it's, it's there to enforce his wolf form, right? But it also ties with Ronnie, okay? Because she's also wearing a similar cloak. And if you know in the story, um, they were, you know, they were kind of, uh, basically siblings in a way right and you know the 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 cloak really helps tie her design with his design and to show that they are both in the same 
like group basically so another thing that i really like about her design is you know like with the hat she has a, a very long cloak right and um basically it follows you know with with the hat design right and you know it just goes super long and it goes past her feet right um if you notice in the game uh she's actually like super short right she's not super tall like as a human i guess i guess maybe in her human form maybe she's taller but in her doll form uh she's fairly short right so she needs to sit on something high to elevate her you know to the to the queen status right as as we as we enjoy right um but to create the illusion that she is much taller her robes go much longer than her legs right and they actually kind of cover it up but if you look in game you can actually see that her feet are don't don't, don't go past the robes at all right so she's actually pretty short you know what i mean <clears throat> awesome now um another aspect to her design right is her four arms right why does she have four arms i mean why not right she is um you know it's supposed to have like an otherworldly feeling to her right she's not just a regular person so the forearms really helps you know show that right and you know to to help reinforce the otherworldly feel right is the the you'll see a lot of these strings and ropes okay attached to her and you'll see they're usually at the joint points okay which shows that she's one obviously not human right she has a doll body and <clears throat> in a way she has kind of like a uh, like doll muscles right which is all string you know and all rope right which i assume that she controls with magic okay you know because she's a witch right looking at her um you know her unclothed form right her nache right she is you know obviously um in this moment she's like covered in blood you know because she you know because of lore shit you know i don't want to spoil too much right um but uh we're gonna take a look at her design when we see her you know unrobed okay Ooh, naughty right um so let's see all right so we could finally see her her hair in this design we could see i mean we, we could see before um but we could really see what her design is underneath right and you could see that actually a lot of her design right um is the the rope okay the string that's that's keeping her together right the 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 doll body has taken a lot of damage uh, i'm assuming over the years and you can see that like she she's m actually mostly rope you know what i mean uh, with you know her hands being intact right her legs being intact and you know some some of the body but like a lot of it is actually still covered in the rope showing a lot of damage okay over the years and you can see the rope is actually kind of formed in a skeletal form right you can see um like on her on her chest there is like almost like a rib cage form right to kind of make up for the loss that's happened to the doll right um yeah and you can see her full her her forearms in their full kind of like you know um outcome right and, and you can see like she has like these really mangled arms right really mangled legs she's seen a lot of damage okay and you know like um it's kind of like you know obviously when she's sitting like that it's it's kind of creepy it's kind of scary right but you know um i think it's meant to symbolize to see like the lengths that she's gone to the the things that she's done to achieve um the age of stars right the, and like you know it, it kind of hides her robes hide the damage that she's accumulated over the years right and like you know it kind of shows that underneath all of this it's like she's kind of like a fragile person right of course she has a very strong will right but i think that actually she might have been someone with a with a weaker constitution right um if you look at um during during the Renala boss fight you could actually see the imperfect copies of ronnie right and if you notice, okay, if you notice uh, between all of them, none of them can walk, right? And most people will assume that like, oh, it's because it's an imperfect copy of Ronnie, right? But my theory 
is that Ronnie was actually born crippled, right? And maybe she needed a wheelchair, right? That's why you see a lot of the motif of her sitting down. You never really, you, you hardly ever see her standing up, right? I think at the very end of the quest line, you could see her standing up, right? But in in most cases, almost every time you see her, she's sitting down. And what I'm led to believe is that, you know, she needed a wheelchair, she needed uh, assistance, you know, even despite being a god, right? So um, that's just a little theory. I, I don't know if that's true, but it, it really shows that like, you know, that through the through the character design, you could tell a little bit of the story, right? And that she, you know, was, I think, physically very incapable, right? And, you know, thus it goes into the design and works with it. So taking a look at her overall silhouette, we'll notice that it is, you know, like, of course, very mushroom, okay? Like, I like, I don't know why, but they, they, they were like, dude, like, Ronnie, mushroom, okay? You know what? It's because mushrooms thrive at the, in night, you know? They, they grow off of the light of the moonlight, okay? Or, you know, that's, that's basically, you know, the, the, the thought behind mushrooms, okay? Um, but, uh, like I said, she is basically just like a, my cat's here, a human mushroom, or not human, but like a, um, the manifestation of a mushroom, basically, right? And if you'll notice that mushrooms, you know, there's the, the top part of the mushroom usually has the, you know, the whoop whoop, you know, the triangle, and then underneath there's usually like the hairy bit, right, of the mushroom. And so, like, you know, with her whole, uh, you know, the using the night, right, using the cold, right, she is in herself a mushroom, okay, and like that, that reinforces itself in the design, in the story, and in the character, right? Um, yeah, and her silhouette um, is very triangular, right? Very whoop whoop, you know, but there's a softness to it, okay? There is a overall kind of like, um, not, not sharp design, right? But more of an organic type of triangle, right? So it shows, you know, like, you know, with most character designs that that she has a danger to her, right? She's a dangerous individual, right? She's not someone who to be trifled with, but there's a softness to her, right? Uh, 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 a, 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 a hidden side, right? That shows um, in her story that she is not as, you know, powerful and, and, and like as cold as she would lead you on to be, right? That there is inside of her a, a, a warmness, a softness, right? And we get to see that more in her design and as the story goes on. So looking at her colors now, right? I think that her colors are super, super effective, right? They, they really, really work, okay? Um, so, you know, her outfit is white, okay? But her skin tone and then her little glowy bit on her face is blue, okay? So blue and white connotate snow because um, if you look at snow, most of the time you'll see that it has a white light and a blue shadow, right? And that invokes the snow, okay? That invokes the cold immediately, right? And blue and white are always a great combo, okay? Like it's a, it's a color with a neutral, okay? But blue and white, it's a natural color that we see all the time. We see it in the clouds, we see it in the sky, we see it in the snow, right? It's a natural combination that always works. And mixing that with Ronnie's um, organic look to her, right? Mixed with, you know, to contrast her doll-like appearance creates this nice contrast between the mechanical and the natural, okay? Which, you know, brings us to be like, ooh, you know, we, we, we gain interest in her design because we're like, like, why, why does she have, you know, this like, you know, rope-like, you know, mechanical look to her, right? Why is she like, like a doll that's like, you know, also the cracks create intrigue as well, right? Adds a sense of mystery her, to her design, right? But also contrasting that with her hat, which is, feels very organic, right? Her, her cowl or her cloak, which also feels organic. Um, you mix all those together, right? And then you add her face. So let's talk about her face a little bit, right? You, 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 her face has, let's see, 
she has a blue face, obviously, and she has one eye closed, okay? And there is a little bit of a scar right here, right? And then you get a little bit of that, that, that uh, spirit shadow right here, which, you know, for a lot of artists is great because you could add two expressions you know, for one character, right? Which is awesome, right? That's that's a that's something that that a lot of artists have you know exploited and used for you know um, for for you know fun expressions, right? But also for you know lewd expressions, right? You know what I'm talking you know what I'm talking about, right? You know what I'm talking about that rule thirty four, okay? So um, her design is really great for you know other artists to make fan art for. You know, that's, that's just a natural cause and effect, right? You know, people love her because of her character, because of her story, but, you know, she has those extra elements that make her a really great character to draw, you know, and to make fan art of. Because, you know what, dude, like, her attitude in the game, you know, she is very tsundere, you know, and you know how the internet loves that shit, okay, right? And she's the only character that you can uh, put the ring on, right? And you know, you know how the internet is, right? Um, so, <clears throat> that that being put aside, you combine all these elements, right? And you put it into one character design, and it just creates an intriguing design, well-designed character who you want to know more about, right? And you know what's great about Ronnie is that she she has a lot of mystery to her, right? And you know, as you go through the story, you get you learn more, you learn more, but there's still a lot of mystery just overall. You know, like even if you learn everything, there's still so much to know about her, right? And so when you first see her, and you don't really you, you see her hat tip down, right? You don't really see her face that much. But she generates this really cool, mysterious feel, okay? And that's you know a combination of her outfit. You know her doll-like appearance her four hands right and the way she speaks right she doesn't speak like the other characters she she speaks you know with thou thy you know like all stuff like that right in that old me medieval talk right and that generates intrigue okay and that is the i think the most effective point of ronnie right you see ronnie and you want to know more about her okay why does she have four arms why does she have these, you know, like, uh, broken parts in her, in her joints, right? Why does she have this rope-like appearance, right? Um, or, or, like, for the muscles underneath, right? It, it just generates intrigue. And before that, you know, she's a witch, you know, and she says, oh, she knows things, and she wants to give you something to impart you, impart knowledge upon you. You're like, oh, yeah, maybe we'll never see each other again, right? And, you know, later on you do find her and then you like, you're like, oh, she's like, oh, pledge loyal to me without really knowing why or what, right? And all you know, at least, at least for me, was that a lot of people like her and there's a lot of people who enjoy her character design, right? And that generates that intrigue, right? It pulls you into the game, right? And that's something that the Soul series really, really knows how to do, right? It's to generate intrigue, to create a sense of mystery that pulls you in, that makes you want to learn more, right? And Ronnie, in her design, is a perfect representation of, you know, the Souls game's ability to generate intrigue, okay? And, you know, she's hugely popular, and the reason, there's a reason why, okay? And that's because her design is freaking solid, okay? Her color design, really on point, okay? Double expression and marriage material, okay? You know, you gotta, you gotta waifu up. Okay, you gotta wife up with her. And, you know, like I said, she is the representation of intrigue. Okay, she, you, she, she pulls you in and you wanna know more, right? And you know what, dude? If that's not a good character design, I don't know what it is, okay? So, I think we can end the video here, guys. Please, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like, hit that subscribe. Check out my Prince and Patreon if you wanna support the channel. And with that, all that bullshit, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot.